Well, hi there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and I'm back for another recording slash live streaming tutorial here today. It has been a long, 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 long time since I've done one, and my most popular video on this channel is how to stream on the PlayStation 4 to YouTube and Twitch directly from the console. And we're back at it. A new console, a new generation has begun. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream on Twitch and YouTube on the PlayStation 5. If you guys do enjoy this, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them down below in the comments. So the first thing you're going to do, click on your settings. Go to captures and broadcast. Now you're going to go to the broadcast section because this is what you're doing. You're broadcasting. You're going to pick the video quality. Now, if you have a high upload speed, I would recommend 1920 by 1080p. And the FPS, again, that is your preference. I would recommend to test. Test stream. Check your upload speed. If you've got a, you know, 5 to 10 to 20 upload speed, I'd recommend to try 1920 by 1080p. And you can test. If you have the highest, like I said, 10 to 20, I'd recommend run 60 FPS. You can test. And again, this is basically preferential. If you have the good enough internet, you can basically pick what you prefer. Again, best quality, you want 60 FPS. So if you really want to have the best looking stream, do 1920 by 1080p. But if your upload speed session internet cannot handle that, 30 FPS is fine. Now, if you have a slow, you know, anywhere between 1 to 5 upload speed, maybe even lower, between, lower than 5, um, I'd recommend 1280 by 720. And again, if you've got around 4 to 5, maybe 3, you can do 60 maybe. But again, I would test based on your preference and pick which one you think is best. But again, if you got high quality, go for the best. So the audio, you've got chat audio. You can basically include your friends or people in the party that you play with or people probably in game chat. And you can turn that on or off just by hitting this button. Um, again, your choice if you want to have your friends here or, you know, if you're trying to hide it, you know, maybe have it off. Then you've got the camera. Now, this is only if you want to run face cam. Now, again, that's your preference. You make that call if you want to show your face or not. So if you want to turn the camera on, click this. You're going to see your face. Hello, everyone. And if you want to focus on your face, you can hit refocus. You got defaults if you want to you know, go back to the default settings. You could change the size. You could do a clipping mask. So if you want to show like your face on a certain area of the stream, you can like clip into a hexagon, chroma key it, square cutout, circle cutout, or none. Just I think the default's fine. Uh, you could flip it horizontally. You could add some effects to it. <laughs> some of these are just like I, I wouldn't recommend using any of these, but I know. Then you've got brightness. You could turn the brightness of it up or down. You can contrast, contrast up or down, and the transparency. Which basically transparency, you're gonna be showing no face cam there. But if you want to like make it like you know really like cut it like that, you can. So those are all the settings for the camera. And again, if you want to just go to the default settings after you like move things around, just hit restore defaults. Then you got the overlay section. So. If you want to show the chat on your broadcast, you have to turn this on. And if you do not have this on, you do not like the, the overlay broadcast, I would please recommend you to read the chat on a phone or your computer if you don't have any of those. You know, because, again, there might be people in your streaming while you're streaming and you might have no clue. So make sure you have that on if you want to see the chat on your screen. It is going to take up part of your gameplay, though, at least on your end. The viewer end probably won't see it, but... Um, that's how it's going to work. Now, show when you have new viewers. You also have an activity that will display if you have a new viewer. So this is probably a great idea, the thing I just mentioned. So if you want to know people are watching, you know, make sure to have that on. Now, if it is something annoying, you obviously could turn it off and just keep an eye on your phone or whatever you are to keep track of that. And then you can move your overlay from anywhere to bottom right, center right, top right, bottom left, center left, or top left. And again, that's your preferential thing right there. And then you got chat to speech. So if you want it to be spoke aloud to your viewers, you know, I would recommend it. Uh, they got, again, slow, normal, fast speed, and the pitch is low, normal, or high with a volume right there. So 
Again, I'd be very careful because people, you know how people are on the internet, they say all kinds of stuff, so please be mindful when putting this on. You don't want to get yourself in trouble, uh, so please be careful if you do turn that on. And those are all the settings for captures and broadcasts. So, after you go through all your settings, we're going to launch the game. We're going to launch Spider-Man Miles Morales. And here's what you're going to do. The top left controller, uh, part of the controller where you usually share your clips and record and all that. Hit that button. You're going to see take screenshot, save recent gameplay, or start recording. You're going to go to the, top, the right with a little broadcast symbol. Hit it. And you're going to have a choice between YouTube and Twitch. Now, I have YouTube because I'm linked up. My YouTube is Dom the Bomb. And you get to enter a title of your broadcast. You could do a description of the broadcast. And then tags. You have to separate them with commas. And then you can put your privacy as public, unlisted, or private. So I'm going to put this as a private stream just so you guys can see. Uh, how this works, so in that way it doesn't go out to my subscribers and anything. Um, but we'll do that in one minute. Now, before you even link this up, you're going to have to link to a service. Now, I've already linked up with YouTube before, but all you have to do with YouTube is you're going to hit the, the link up with YouTube. Basically, it's going to be like not linked like how it is with Twitch. You're going to hit it, and it's going to require you to enter your email in and verify, connect with YouTube to the PlayStation 5, and then you'll be good. I have this preset up from the PlayStation 4, so that's why I didn't have to uh, link it up. So if you're already linked up on the PS4 and you carry your account over to the PlayStation 5, you should not have any issues uh, linking up again on the PlayStation 5. But if you have any issues with linking up, let me know down below in the comments. I'll try to help you out. So um, we could test this by with Twitch. Um, with Twitch, it's basically going to give you the rundown. You know, upload your best game moments to Twitch easily. Uh, share, upload, broadcast as friends, handling followers. Nothing will post on Twitch without your permission. And broadcast your holy Twitch will automatically show on your PlayStation Network profile. So people can find it on your profile as well. And then you're going to click link account. And you're going to basically, you know, activate the mobile device. Scan the code with your mobile device. And again, you click learn how. And then you're going to enter that code in. And then it should let you uh, sign in. So, and then you're going to enter the code... You're going to get a little pop-up on your Twitch. You're going to enter the code. So I'm going to enter the code right now. And then once you enter the code, you're going to log into your Twitch account. And then you just have to allow PlayStation Network access to your account. PlayStation is connected. Now, after that's done, you should get a prompt on screen saying you've linked your Twitch account. And the same goes with YouTube. You've linked your YouTube account. But YouTube, you don't have to scan any codes. You just have to sign with an email. And make sure your account's obviously enabled for live streaming. And after that is done, you're going to click done. Now with Twitch, all you have to do is enter in a broadcast title. So it's pretty self-explanatory for that. Now we're just going to do YouTube since I can private this and I don't have to actually do this. So if you want to change between YouTube and Twitch, you're just going to hit change service. So with YouTube, we are going to enter the title as test description. We don't have to put anything tags. Again, if that's what I want to do that. And we're going to make this private since I'm going to uh, be deleting this after uh, it's done. Um, if you want to change anything with your broadcast, you can display the camera. Which actually we probably will test here. Um, you can display the chat. On or off, display activity, overlay position, include voice chat audio, and the frame rate. So, all right. So we're private. Go live. It should say starting broadcast. Let's see how this works. All right. It should say now broadcasting. And we can move the face cam. Up here now the quality I admit will is not the best, but again, like I showed earlier in the video, you can change the uh, camera settings and see your face cam pops up there. Now my audio is not currently working for this, so don't mind it. I'm not trying to you know get my audio displayed here, but uh, let me see if the chat actually the chat should pop up on your screen. If you ever do get any pop ups. 
as well. There's going to be a black box. So again, if you want to disable the black box, um, I would just recommend personally, personally, I'd recommend you to turn off your notifications if you don't want, you know, if you have a friend that messaged you a lot or, you know, party invites and stuff, I would turn off your notifications so you don't have a black box constantly spammed over the screen. Um, so hopefully this looks good. Now, also, if you do want to add a thumbnail, as well as maybe, you know, you don't have everything in your description, you're going to have to go on your YouTube account on the website and change that up. So, again, if you do want to add a custom thumbnail, you have to go on the YouTube website. Also, want to state, because, again, Twitch is just simple. You hit the live button. You don't have to make, like, you know, a bunch of description tags and thumbnail and all that. Um, also, I just want to say, um, if you do go back to the broadcast section... You could check how many people are watching, how long you've been streaming as well. You could pause the broadcast or you could stop it here as well. And also you can, you know, mute or unmute your microphone. You, know, you could turn on your camera and move it around if you'd like. Again, you also could turn it off or on. As well as you can move your overlay, you know, display chat or anything. Yeah, and the same thing as the PS4. Um, if you go to your menu, it's just going to show up. Let's see. Yep. It's got that uh, blue uh, little uh, check thing. So I actually like that. It's a lot better than what it was. So you can't show your menu, unfortunately, still from streaming from the console, which kind of sucks. All right. And when you want to end your broadcast, you're just going to hit the same button. Go to broadcast and you're going to hit. Now, if you hit pause, what happens? Just pauses it. And then you just hit stop broadcast and hit yes. And it should just stop your broadcast. And there you go. That is how to stream on the PlayStation 5 using from the console directly. Um, if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to stream from the PlayStation 5 Delgado, I can do a tutorial to that. Let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see another one. But please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. The last one I did had over a million views and 20,000 of you guys liked that video. So let me know if you do enjoy this. And please be sure to drop a like and sub if you did enjoy this. And I want to thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace and love. Let me know if you want to see more. Toodles.